Following the news that George Alagaya lost his long battle with cancer, his heartbroken friends and colleagues have taken to social media to remember the legendary journalist. Gary Lineker said, How terribly sad. R.I.P. George, while BBC Breakfast's John K. penned, We all love George. The most brilliant of journalists, the warmest of broadcasters and the kindest of colleagues. Sending love to his family and many many friends. Martin Lewis wrote on Twitter, I saw the hashtag and hoped it wasn't this. Much respect to George and condolences to his family. Talented man who will be missed. Loose women panelist Charlene White echoed, George was such a beautiful soul inside and out. His smile could light up a room with such ease. We worked together numerous times with at Bowel Cancer Rook. Such a huge loss of an incredibly brilliant, kind, and talented man. Sending so much love to his family and colleagues. BBC's George Alagaya dies surrounded by family age 67 after cancer battle royal correspondent Jenny Bond said, desperately sad to learn that my old friend and colleague hashtag George Alagaya has died. We worked together as reporters and he was one of the most delightful, talented and charming men I could ever have wished to know. Untouched by his fame, always humble. Hugs and condolences to his family. Sky News' Mark Austin added, This breaks my heart. A good man, a rival on the foreign correspondent beat but above all a friend. If good journalism is about empathy, and it often is, George Alagaya had it in spades. He understood injustice and the power of good reporting to highlight it, if not correct it. Don't miss. George Alagaya shared cancer screening agony in poignant last Twitter post, latest, BBC's George Alagaya shares regret over NHS test that could have found cancer, insight, George Alagaya steps back from BBC News as cancer spreads, news, ITV News reader Chris Ship wrote, such a sad loss. George Alagaya fought a long battle with cancer and will be hugely missed. Thoughts with his family and his many friends and colleagues at BBC News. Rest in peace. BBC's John Sopel penned, tributes will rightly be paid to a fantastic journalist and brilliant broadcaster, but George was the most decent, principled, kindest, most honorable man I have ever worked with. What a loss! Labour leader Keir Starmer also said, deeply saddened by the news of George Alagaya's passing. A much-loved face of BBC News for decades, George will also be remembered for his brilliant, fearless journalism as foreign correspondent. He rightly won awards for his evocative, boundary-pushing reporting. British journalism has lost a talent. My thoughts are with his family and loved ones. More to follow.